the component parts of a fermentation process. There are three stages of fermentation process, upstream process, production process and downstream process. First we'll look on upstream process. Following are the steps of upstream process. 1. Screening of industrially important microbes from the natural source. Second, primary screening, preparation of pure culture and selection of production strain at lab scale level. Next, secondary screening and optimization of production parameter of the production strain at lab and pilot scale level. And finally, the genetic improvement of production strain if required. The formulation of inoculum and production media and optimization of growth parameters at lab scale level for product formation. Next, the sterilization of inoculum and production medium. Sterilization of fermenter and its auxiliary equipments. The production of sufficient pure and active microbial culture for the inoculation in production vessel. The next stage, that is the production process. Continuous monitoring of the production process to maintain best possible condition for maximum product formation. For this, following are the criteria which is essential operations which need continuous monitoring. Change in the pH of medium and its control. Fluctuation in temperature inside the fermenter and its control through the cooling system. Production of foam and breaking it by adding antiform agents. Supply of sterile oxygen in case of aerobic condition. Collection of sample to know the status of product formation and about contaminants. Maintaining dilution rate by adding fresh medium in case of continuous fermentation. Speed of agitator to maintain the proper mixing of the medium are monitored accurately. The extraction of the product and its purification is the first step of downstream processing. And another important criteria is the disposal of effluents produced by the process. How to recover and purify the fermented product? Downstream processing, a collective term for all the steps which required in order actually recover useful products from any kind of industrial process. In reality, the desired final forms of the product are usually quite far removed from the state in which they are first obtained in the bioreactor. Many operations which are standard in the laboratory will become impractical or uneconomic on the process scale. Many times byproducts are often very labile or sensitive compounds whose active structure can survive only under defined and limited conditions like pH, temperature, ionic strength and many other. The extraction and purification of fermentation product may be difficult and costly. Extraction should be as quickly as possible with high quality product at an efficient recovery rate using minimum plant investment operated at minimal cost. Recovery cost of microbial products may vary from 15 to as high as 70% of the total manufacturing cost. The selection of recovery process and its relatively cost depends on the specific products. According to Atkinson, percentage of the total cost being 15% for industrial ethanol, 20 to 30% for bulk penicillin G and up to 70% for enzyme. High and sometimes dominant cost of downstream processing affects the overall objective in some fermentation. At the time of harvesting, the specific products may be present at a low concentration in aqueous solution that contain 
intact microorganisms, cell fragments, soluble and insoluble medium components and other metabolic products. All these factors tend to increase the difficulties of product recovery. Efficient recovery needs speed of operation as an overriding factor, knowledge of labile nature of product, type of processing equipments and size of processing equipment. Criteria for the selection of recovery process. The, pro the product is intracellular or extracellular. The concentration of the product in the fermented broth. The physical and the chemical properties of the desired product. The intent use of the product. The minimum acceptable standard of purity. The magnitude of biohazard of the product or broth. The impurities in the fermented broth. And the market price for the product. There is no one unique ideal or universal operations or even sequence of operation which can be recommended. Individual unit operation must be combined in the most suitable way, way for the particular problems. This chart shows the first recovery steps. Once the fermentation process get over, fermented broth is collected. It, it is then for the for the centrifuge or filtered depending upon the product whether it's in, intracellular or extracellular solid and liquid are separ uh, separated and depending upon the product the particular part is further moved for the purification process thank you